Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Help and Music Company. Another Thursday night in the Riverbend. Another Riverbend Talent Show brought to you by the Halpa Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voors of Macias Insurance. The Sea Shanty Sing Along already underway at Morrison's Irish Pub. Kevin Gruen underway at George's Pub and Grill up in Jerseyville. Ten String Dream kicking it off in Edwardsville already until 9 o'clock at Big Daddy's. Let's see. Schaefer and Sims started at 5 at the Stagger Inn. They go to 8. That's in Edwardsville. And uh, That's a see. law firm, isn't it? Schaefer and Sims? No, 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 no. That's a beautiful Drew Schaefer and Audrey Sims. Ah. Right. I think it's also a law firm. They kept me out of jail once. Speaking of also, Rewind underway. 5.30 <laughs> at the uh, Prairie Inn in Dorsey until 8.30. And uh, I think that's it for the 6 o'clock uh, and uh, before performances already started here in the Riverbend. The other voice... My partner in crime, <laughs> Big Pen, and uh, we're getting to talk tonight about our favorite subject, joints. And I would do crime for the. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, joints. Not not just a joint. Joints. Twenty two of them. Twenty two joints. And that's not just the amount of joints in your fingers. That's the amount I did before this show. No. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a new band, a brand new uh, fellows. We I've, I've never met these guys till just moments ago. Uh, right next to me, Abel. Yes, sir. You are Abel. I'm Abel Zumwalt. And I am Willing Zumwalt. <laughs> and together, we're going to get a lot done, son. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are the guitar player? Uh, rhythm guitar player, yes. Rhythm guitar player. I, Les Paul. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sunburst. Mm-hmm. Less Paul, more Fender. Less Paul, uh, more Fender. Man. <laughs> Them spike words, huh? I saw you. You got a little angry. I saw I'm, it. I'm a big Gibson fan, man. That's cool. Big, man. big. That's, you're not that big, bro. You're not all right. You're, you're not buff, maybe. Huh? You look like you work out a little bit. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm messing hey, with you. Abel's brother's here, too, and it's not Kane. <laughs> I thought I was about it's to get biblical. A- Aiden. Abel yes, and Aiden. You guys twins? No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> we get that a lot. Right. Uh, they, ain't, they ain't twins. That's the name of the band. Dude, I, I, I just saw a band in, in Atlanta last week, and I had two girls, in it, and they were called They Ain't Sisters. <laughs> and I'm like, I guess they would just That's ask good. one too many times. <laughs> but they just named the band that. Uh, so, so uh, Abel being the guitar player, Aiden, you are the singer? Yes, sir. And and, is it, and, and who's missing in action here? Uh, we are missing Five three people right now. Uh, who, who our bass got? player, Dustin Wilson, our uh, lead guitar player, Shane Hurley, and our drummer, Aries Cruz. Right. What was his name, Aries? Aries. 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 Like, like the season. Aries. Spring. Yeah, it's pronounced Aries. Aries. There, there, there are Scott too Aaron many, April. there's too many A names in this. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of A's. She's just called Triple A. <laughs> Wait a minute, back up there. He said he's from the Philippines and just got here in April. You got yeah. any sisters? Our drummer. Oh, no. <laughs> no? I don't know. Actually. I was in the Philippines. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to your drummer. Who's, <laughs> who's part of Joint 22 Trio? Um, right? Anybody who will play yeah. on that day. Oh, okay, so yeah, you're a duo. We're kind of substitute out. Yeah, we're, the, we're the ones that uh, started all this, and we started as a duo, right. and then we just expanded. And then you do a trio, and then you oh, do the You ain't expanded band. that much. You look like you work out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you will play as a two-piece, three-piece, or a five piece, but you ain't doing that four piece. You ain't, do you ain't doing the quartet bit. Whatever they okay. want. Just check. You're like hundred dollars, hundred dollars a man. How many people you want? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here, so joints twenty two. Give us a little rundown. What, what's how long you guys been? No, you, let's you, get you right said, to the good question. Okay. Why are you called joint twenty two? Yeah, there you go. He's well, skipping over. I uh. It says in my notes we don't get to that till later. I need to know. (laughs) About two and a half years ago. About two and a half years ago, uh, I uh, just thought, you know, I've ever since I was a younger kid, I just wanted to be a live musician, and um, finally got to the age where we can play everywhere. So no age, like no age barrier now. So then uh, I went to the Diamond Music Hall in St. Charles, Missouri, and uh, went for a jam night. 
did that a couple times and I was like, you know what, this is this is what I want to do. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to get anybody who can do it and we're going to go for it. And him, he's been a singer all of his life. and Singing in the womb, I heard. Singing. <laughs> Needed to come out. <laughs> but, uh, Mommy, why is there so much room in here? No. <laughs> but yeah, we. Uh, I just started at Diamond Music Hall, and um, I wanted my own band. I was playing with a bunch of different guys, and I was like, you know what? I want my own band with my friends, you know, my brothers. And Lean a little bit more than that. That's, uh, uh, that's what we did, and we got him. That's and that sounds we were cool. like, we're just going to go for it acoustically as a duo. And I was like, Adam, what the hell are we going to name ourselves? <laughs> oh, uh, you can take over now. Yeah, he, he actually, he, t- he texted me and I was like, I was not creative at the moment. <laughs> so I just I actually went to, to Google and typed in, like, I looked up a uh, generator, like a name generator. And I just typed Band in a bunch generator. of keywords and generator. gave me like a bunch of... Just random Do names. you still have it? I think I still have the note, but... On your phone? Nice. Like, like, through the flame. Yeah, some are, some are pretty weird, <laughs> flame but... me. <laughs> I seen Joyce 22 was on there, and I was that's, like, I you like know that. what? That's kind of... <laughs> could be catchy, so... <laughs> sent it around, and people started saying they liked it, so... Yeah, it that's how we did it, too, you know? We we were called Cottonmouth, and we always claimed it was because of the snake in public, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we all know the real reason it's why. it's a generator. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Mom, Dad, we got a bad, but the, let me tell you about the name first. We didn't, there's nothing to do with, with marijuana. That's how I had to bring it to my grandma. See, oh, yeah. see sometimes you gotta have that other thing. <laughs> let me tell you how I brought your grandma. No. <laughs> hey, Big Ben, check this out. Speaking of grandmas, speaking of grandmas, my grandma's name on the Laird side was Zumwalt. No way. Right, and we're descendants from Fort Zumwalt, so I had to ask okay. them if we're cousins, and they're like, probably because yeah. of our family. Yeah. yeah, definitely some intermingling going on. Yeah. And then somewhere yeah. down the family yeah. tree. And then because I know my mom's listening, my mom's mom, yeah, her name was Hurley. Okay. Yeah, and they got a band member, right, Shane Hurley. Mm-hmm. It sounds like it all really spawned from you, the whole band. <laughs> now, he, he he plays a last ball sometimes, but I've seen him with a Jackson, too, so. Oh, uh, Shane? Is, yeah, Lean into is, the is mic. Is that the guitar player, there. right? Or am I yeah. looking at the wrong? Yeah. I don't know. Does Shane have... I think um, he just ha- he has a Strat and then he has a Les Paul. He might have a Strat. Good choice. I see. Did Jackson. you say Jackson? Yeah. I, he might. He might. I don't know. It was one of his shredding videos. Oh yeah, yeah right. that guy's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he goes nuts. He got some chops. So, so you brought up the age that you're the age to play all bars. You can play brothels, whatever you want now. <laughs> <laughs> the Waffle House. I mean, I mean yeah. You, if you, it pays right, we're there. Right, sure. You, you, you can get it. So, so I'm assuming that means that you have pierced the age of 21. Oh yeah. 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 So, yeah. so you're young. Yeah. And, and I'm happy for you, and I'm happy that you're a guy that carries a Les Paul around. But let me tell you something. When you get to be my age, <laughs> you're going to find anchor. that. That guitar's heavy, man. Yeah. Like, that's why it sounds so good. They're boat anchors. It's heavy. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> hey, Pig Man, I hate to interject, but let me finish up the Thursday real quick. Let's do it, the, man. Yeah, so a, lot, pro- a lot happening. Yeah, you got it right. Trivia night later tonight, 630 at the conservatory. Yeah. We love our conservatory where they do original music. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, and original art every, everywhere you look, from Mike Snyder, the yep. place is just covered yep. with it. And uh, Justin Levels taking over the open mic. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you know it's summertime, the Spilly Boys. I'm sure. Yeah, are very yeah. Busy. I, I was just yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and um, uh, Mike Snyder, I just mentioned, has become a little bigger part of it. They got they got some things moving and shaking down there, nice, right? Always. Nice. So uh, yeah, that's going on tonight down at the conservatory, and Alton crosses the line at uh the famous Fast Eddies from 7 to 11. Ten, let's see, uh, skip down. Dave Mendoza, 7 to 11 at Deutz Village Inn and Pontoon Beach. I don't think I mentioned Frankie and the House Shakers earlier. They no. started at 6 and will go till 9 at Patrick's in Granite City. And Frankie's been a little bit under the weather, weather so they've had some uh, full fill-ins. And I mean like bad under the weather. So we wish him some uh, so good it could, vibes. It could be like Joe and the House Shakers. I think it's a bob. Bob in the house. <laughs> I almost said Bob. See, I was so close, man. Uh, well, right. He'd change his name no matter what it was anyways. Right, right. So the Experience Live Music Row is underway down in uh, Belleville. Nice. Hunter Peebles at Benny's Pizza and Stomp Box in the Mixtapes. All right. At the Copper Fire. And then little known fact at the Abbey, 
down there in Belleville. Starts at 7 and Peanut and the Shells up in Mount Olive at 8 and Shotgun <laughs> Creek uh, over in St. Louis. At the Honky Tonk, our friends, Shotgun Creek. And yeah. Also over there, they took Bert Graham Pagano with them. Oh, look at that. But he's uh, at Billy's on Broadway. So Yeah, wow, now, Billy's on Broadway. Okay. Well, yeah. Now we've accomplished our goal. Wait, wait, have we done it? Did we do it? Yeah. We've All right, show's it. over. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. I there's told big, you guys. <laughs> there's a big meeting at City Hall tonight, and uh, so I figure, you know, they're all going to get hammered afterwards and listen to some live music. So I wanted uh, to get that out there so they know where Absolutely, we absolutely. <laughs> and by the way, there's a tornado watch until 9. Yeah, I, I was watching. So, yeah, I didn't watching. see one. I, I was watching, though. So that means we should have a watch party. I mean, yeah. Well, I you had me at party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, uh, let's party, Big Pen. Let's, let's uh, do it, let's man. Let's party with Joints 22. I, let's Our 22 Joints. They have a gig coming up at the uh, Red Top Barbecue. Remember that? Is it uh, uh, Bunker Hill? Merge 5. Like, oh, Merge 5. There you go. Yeah, Collinsville. Yeah, Collinsville. There's like a Gabby's Lounge inside there, I guess, is where they play. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, wait, this will be, be our, our first time. time. Mm-hmm. Right, they're just there yeah. for the barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're for the rock. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little chilly. Right, hey, easy <laughs> there. Boy. But uh, you guys are playing on the uh, 22nd there, <laughs> yes, and that's uh, an 8 o'clock show. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you're Doors also... open at 7. Tickets will be at the door, or you yeah, can yeah. Uh, get them from us in person. we got a couple people selling, them, selling physical tickets out here. $10 a piece. Yeah. Y'all come on out and hang out with Joints 22, and then also we have somebody, Um, what is his name, Matt... Um, Oof. Heaton, Matt, Matt Heaton, Heaton. yeah, he's opening yeah, up for yeah. us. We're gonna be our first time meeting him too. Yeah, really excited to meet him and Jam. Yeah, Matt Heaton, a uh, uh, son of Reverend Horton. Heaton. <sighs> no, that's fake news. I know, fake news. <laughs> but it, but it's fun to make things up. Oh, I, I <laughs> love your fake news. <laughs> the nine. Yeah. So physical tickets available. And where do they get the physical tickets? From one of us or our other band members, yeah, it's it's Dustin Tom. Wilson, Shane Hurley. Going to find you guys on Facebook. Facebook what, what's yeah, the easiest way to find you? Right? On okay. Facebook. Pornhub. I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing, bro. <laughs> I don't know you. Man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like we've talked before. <laughs> anyway, physical tickets available. You can uh, look up joints. Uh, tw- uh, Joints 22. Joints 22. Yep. I keep wanting to say it backwards. On 22 Facebook joints. and then our, our Instagram is... Uh, uh, joints 22 underscore official. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Because I already have Joints 22 unofficial. They yeah. had to go. No. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised that it like, showed up on Instagram more than one. What? Like I thought your guys' name was so original, like that. It does. Hard to, oh, yeah. there's really more accounts. Yeah, there is. But the official it. is what... I knew. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, like, I believe the picture is the same as on Facebook, so that yeah, grabbed actually, my attention. Yeah. That's good, man. Good marketing. Yeah, yeah, thank you. For the folks listening on the stream from the Missouri side, though, you guys are playing tomorrow night. Trio, yes. right? Yes, sir. Trio tomorrow. Yeah, we'll and be with uh, Shane Hurley. What is it? The Dog? The Dog Prairie Tavern. Yeah. Dog Prairie Saint Tavern. Paul. <laughs> That's a Prairie Dog Tavern. <laughs> no. <laughs> dog Prairie Tavern. That's no. way That's, different, dude. It's, it's a way different place. It's a G.G. Allen place there a lot. It sounds way tougher than Prairie Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The and that's dog, in O'Fallon? Yeah. Uh, St. Paul, Saint O'Fallon Paul, area. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So is that closer to home for you guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it about is. 20 minutes. Yeah. See, Jimmy G didn't tell me how far they were driving. I thought they walked here. You know? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you guys, yeah. I probably owe you some gas money. <laughs> <or something. laughs> so you guys aren't from Fort Zumwalt, though. You're, uh, no. You're from... Nope. I uh, born and raised Troy, Missouri. Troy. Yeah. yeah. Haven't left it much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so since you're brothers, you were both from Troy and I'm glad you acknowledged that because I mean there could have been a bad divorce and you know, right. so I feel bad uh, well see my mother gave birth to him in Troy and then she caught a cat in uh, so there you go man that's uh, what, what, uh, what's the name of the place again Prairie Dog and Tavern no Dog Prairie Dog, Tavern Dog Prairie Tavern yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Dog Prairie Tavern St. Paul Missouri mm-hmm. uh, that's for all the people listening on the stream our people who are listening live and just feel like going over to St. Paul we'll just right. be doing our acoustic it's show that night right? not all the band all the guys from the band there will be there obviously who's but, uh, number three this week Hurley, Hurley. Shane Hurley. Hurley. Shane yeah. Hurley. Uh-huh. Last time. Up on some lead and doing a, so my might, whole family might throw some bass in there. <laughs> yeah. 
Last time, <laughs> he'll do some bass. <laughs> Last time we had a trio show, we had Aries on the cajon with us, and that was pretty cool. See, that's why I picked him first as the trio, because the cajon right. yeah, makes total video, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes he's got total the, sense. He's yeah. got bigger cajones than that. Yeah, be, he's going to Vegas this week, so yeah, he's actually he's leaving today. Back. So yeah. Well, be, I'm going with him. So he'll be broke when he comes back. He'll <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be like, guys, I need more shows right now. He'll be coming back on the 21st, right? Then we play the 22nd. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, dude, yeah. he's going to no. make. He'll come back broke with a hearse. He plays the 23rd also. We play our dad's uh, um, See, birthday party. Oh, know. that's not a secret. Oh, huh? that's good. Oh. The Festus. Uh, yeah, I think it? it's in Festus. It's, it's like. Uh, oh, now you're talking. I think it's called Cavelin. Yeah, um, it's a brand new venue. Yeah, it's like oh, a brand new. It's got like a venue slash Airbnb type thing. It's like it's a giant it's cave. Like built into really a cave. Cool. Nice. In Festus. Yeah. Festus, Missouri. Okay, because yeah, yeah that the, He's I, I know, around there. Yeah, I know it? Festus a little bit, yeah. and I've never heard of this. Uh, yeah, so. this is a. Uh, it's also a ticketed event, and I'm not sure I'm exactly. Sure it's sold out. It might be, because yeah. I, I think there's only like a 70 person capacity. But yeah, it's if it's not sold out, sure. you can find it on Chris Zumo Music. Oh, oh yeah. nice. I thought it'd be nice. sold out because your dad was famous or something. <laughs> General, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Or <laughs> <Ford> Zumo. <laughs> Yeah, you can find band. him too on Facebook at uh, See? Chris Zumwalt Music. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. He does have a See? band. That's on my question <laughs> list. Is, it is. What is the Chris Zumwalt He's band? He's been rocking forever. He's taught us everything. I and knew we, it. We give all thanks to him. Yes. Nice. Appreciate nice. everything from him. He's the Definitely. god of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the family tradition alive, <laughs> man. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So, so, same kind of music you guys play? Uh, he plays a little bit different, but. Around the same area, yeah. I think he le- he plays everything, right? Yeah. Everything. Yeah, and then he has his own originals too. You guys can find those on his nice. page. Oh yeah, nice. he streams nice. those. You can find the links. You have so, to get so, those to us because uh, we'll fire them up. Well, let's let's yeah. get into that too because we haven't talked about it on the show. What kind of music do you play? Tell the tell the listeners. We, we try to play everything. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. uh, try to cover a lot. We try of to be a part of, like a party band. You know, yeah. we want everybody jumping and being wild time. with us. So. Yeah. Right play all party uh country songs trying to play them like upbeat rock songs like some i don't know uh, what little, is that uh, leonard skinner gave me yeah, three we leonard right. skinner, yeah. just, just some groovy we'll go to blink 182 and... after leonard skinner then we'll go to chris stapleton after yeah. Le- after that no, then nice. we'll jump to family tradition by hank you know we do everything right. love it man we try love to it. at least love it i've I... seen that uh solo in free bird and... oh yeah, yeah. 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 it's <laughs> crazy yeah. it's again <laughs> See? That wasn't the Jackson, though. I'm pretty sure that, that was, was the Les Paul. Paul. Yeah. Oh, the white yeah. one? Mm. Yeah. No? no? Uh, it's a black one. Yeah, he has a okay. yeah. black one. Re- white. Uh, bad memory. I think he's got white outlines on it. Yeah. yeah. After I seen that sunburst, dude, that's all I can it's think It's beautiful, of. isn't it? <laughs> I just got it, actually, oh, about man. a month ago. I'm really, really proud of it. Nice. It's always fun when you get new acts. Oh, man. It's yeah. the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the it, best. And, and, and then it makes you want to play so much. <laughs> it, yeah. does. I, I, uh, it does. I, man. I went out of town, I think it was last week, week before, and I was just gone for four days, and the first thing I wanted to do, because I got a new guitar recently. <laughs> just play that guitar. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I, I, it's like we got we got back in town, and the first thing I could do was get to the jam, you know, like I brought the suitcase in, dropped it, and I was like, right. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you do this weekend? That's right, and I, and I, the first thing I do, I get restrings set up, and I go home, plug her in. Oh, uh, yeah. Just try her out. I love, <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you play through? What rig? I've got a uh, 100, 100 watt um fender front man i think that's what it's called and then i've got a pedal board with just an assortment of pedals i can go yeah what's your favorite while talk about them i've actually got a uh we love pedals i've got a brownie distortion pedal that i'm really digging right now <laughs> okay. it's one of my favorites right. yeah if you know it's got that good crunch to it yeah, okay. Dickman likes the swirly sounds. What do you oh, got yeah, for that? Yeah. Huh? What do you got for the swirly sounds? <laughs> <laughs> Shane now is the one you talk yeah, to about yeah. pedals. That okay. boy's got a full pedal board. All right. <laughs> I'm just now getting into the electric stuff, man, because like I said, we started as an uh, acoustic duo, yeah. and um, getting into the electric world is just a huge jump, yeah. and it's wild. So There's you, so much to learn. You're having a good time. Experience. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Spending money on pedals oh. every every month. <laughs> yep. <laughs> trying to find out which ones are good, buying crap ones, getting uh. good ones. Now, wait a minute. You know how we got a sponsor, How Music Company? Oh, yeah. 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 They oh, have yeah. pedals. And Matt Van Voors. They have pedals. Matt Van Voors. He has pedals. Insurance, right? They have a sponsor. Yeah. We need to talk to King Tree Care, Mr. Scott King, and be like, 
Hey, man, he needs some more pedal. <laughs> <laughs> listen, man. Right? Hey, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm speaking right now to the king. Scott, the king himself. Not only do I want to say congratulations on the tree care business, I want to say, look, man, without pedals, tone comes from <laughs> Tone comes from pedal. I mean, if not, why would Stevie Ray Vaughan have so many pedals? He didn't do it just to spend money. No, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, Pigman, like we have two sponsors. Don't you have another sponsor? Yeah, they sure. do. Hi. So, 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 in addition to what was it, King King Tree Care? What is it, Sugar High? Yes, sir. Sugar S U G A, Sugar mm-hmm. and High H H Y, Sugar High. Yep, yep. And and they're like out of Kansas City, Kansas so, City, Missouri. Yeah. So you you guys are about halfway between us and them, is where you're from. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, what what are their goods? What's what's your favorite thing that Sugar High has sugar to offer? High. Hmm. I like their monk fruit sugar. That and his. Yeah. I've had a lot of that. I like his apparel, man. His his clothing, his hats. Yeah, they're all yeah, so good, good and they're like. Why does he put buttons on the underwear? <laughs> <laughs> it's so I weird. Know. Man. I haven't seen those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be something you're getting that I'm not. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just selling to me. I <laughs> Only <know>. you. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, he's um he's got good like just quality apparel, hats, shirts. They're nice. not. They're not just. And they're also glow in the cheap. dark. Yeah, they're glow in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. They're awesome, All the stuff. Man. You had me at glow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and you said you like the the mug sugar, which is like a substitute for sugar. Uh, it's the monk fruit sugar. Monk yeah. fruit. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, I guess it's like a sugar extract, and then uh, from monk fruit. From monk fruit. Yeah, which and comes then, from uh, Tibetan. It's also monks. infused. It's got yeah. little THC goodies in there, so you mix it in there with your it's morning coffee or something too, right? and lo- get loose up. Oh, yeah. There's CBD in it too, right? Uh, there might be. I'm sure there's so. a percentage of CBD. Well, yeah, it but... comes in a little pack and it just, yeah. it's green, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's green. It's pretty sweet. And it's, nice. It eat it fruity, like that, yeah. just throw it in your mouth, or I put it in my sweet tea. I, I try to get these unsweet and then throw some in there right. in the mornings. It's real right. good. Rub it on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes boys <laughs> anyway so no that's uh that that is awesome so you guys uh got two sponsors yeah man we're trying that that, is, that that's pretty uh pretty cool man uh yeah. so so you you were discussing some of the music the, the wide a variety of yeah. music that you do have what what about the the, the originals have you dove into that yeah, aspect we have, we're working on two yeah. right now actually excellent in I'm, the works in the works yeah I'm proud of you thank you, uh, thank the, you. That, that's uh I always love to hear even if you're doing you know playing covers is fun oh for sure I, I love playing I love all, I love music yeah. uh, I feel of, like of all you can't really make it to the top though just playing covers so. Well, yeah, it, that's it's, what we want. We want to make it as far as we can. It's so a we're... long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't know if you've ever heard that before. Oh, yeah. yeah. ACDC. Shakes- no, Shakespeare said that first. <laughs> <laughs> that's Hamlet, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's looking at a skull. It's a long way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hamlet, bro. Bond was there. <laughs> He was tuned into it. Bono? Bon Scott, yeah. Bon Scott. Uh, I, I thought he said Bono. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you talking about the dude from U2? Like, I mean, I do like Bono. I mean, if it wasn't for him, his fancy He's sunglasses, we wouldn't even know about Africa. But, you know, yeah, Bon, yeah, Bon. Bon was there. Whew. Bono, that messed me up. I'm like, what is he talking about? Like, U2. That's a weird one. I was loving the left fieldness of it, but I was confused. <laughs> Uh, so there you go. You're, you're doing originals. You're doing covers. You're playing all over. You got two sponsors. Man, you're both good-looking gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Appreciate try it. Uh, you know, our best. And the word on the street is you're not selfish lovers. So you know, I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> you, you're really you're the full package, you guys. <laughs> so, uh, they used to see their dad, Chris. Yeah. You know, good looks runs in the family. Yeah. So oh, I'm, yeah. And I'm yeah. family. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all spawns from my great, great, great grandfather, <laughs> Captain Zumwald Zumerfenton. <laughs> so it looks to me like the uh, Dog Prairies, like, uh, you got like three shows there. Yeah. We have, uh, of, like the 5th, right? Of April and the 13th. Yeah. And then uh, they're, they contacted us. We we played there the first time like last year sometime and then uh, they recontacted us and uh, they started having us play almost every or I think it's once one Friday every month. Nice. So nice. 
Yeah. But uh, this month it's been two, so we'll see how, yeah. see <laughs> yeah. how many more we get there. Uh, <laughs> but we, uh, we're talking about March 22nd on our side of the river in uh, Collinsville at the Red yes, Top Barbecue. Yeah, that's number one we're right excited. now. We're excited. 8 p.m., uh, $10 tickets. I guess they can get those online. You can get them from us. Uh, just message us on Facebook, either um, me, Abel Zumwalt, or Aiden Zumwalt, or Dustin Wilson, or... Uh, Shane Hurley for tickets, uh, physical tickets. We couldn't get a okay. link online, but or get them at the door. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. Get your ten dollars tickets and come rock with Joints Twenty Two and um, Matt Hurt. Uh, Heaton. Yeah, Heaton. Right. <laughs> the so, Reverend's kid. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 what's up with your drummer not selling tickets, man? That's lazy. Let's just call oh, it. That's not that. lazy. That's not lazy. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's a, a drummer. Come he on. He just he actually just moved here from the Philippines. So uh, uh, does he speak English? He he speaks. I would imagine. He, yeah, he, he's working on it. He's working that's on it. That's the for second sure. language there. So yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Does he eat breadfruit? I don't know what he eats. Well, on that's, that's a Filipino thing. We we call them hedge apples over here. <laughs> no. What you really want to ask him about is balut. <laughs> Write that down. I'm serious. He'll want to tell you the story. I've heard. I've heard. Balut. Have you already heard about it? I, I haven't heard the story, but I've heard. Well, it's a I've delicacy. We'll start with that. That's the good part. <laughs> but they take an egg that's like half developed and bury it. Oh yeah. And then it rots. Huh. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> I mean, to each their own, I guess, right? <laughs> kind of like uh, a I thought it was, type thing. Like <laughs> it was better than you whatever. think. I bet. It tastes like it's, chicken. It's what it's, it <laughs> seems like everybody says things are horrible, then you try it, and sometimes it's not that bad. Right, so get him to get, get some balloons. Oh, for sure. We'll talk Dude, to him. That, right. would, that would be raging. I don't know if I'll try it. Like, when you go back and <laughs> see him again, it. too, he'll be like, God, you guys are into my culture and everything, man. Don't tell him I told you. <laughs> I have Hopefully to, he's not watching. I have to sit on the toilet because I'm balloot intolerant. And, uh, yeah. It's, it, you know it what else is cool good. about the Philippines? They eat with their hands. Oh, that I? was so awesome. I was like, have you it been makes there? total sense to, like, scoop up rice with your hands. Think about have it. Have you been to the Philippines? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, nice. I was there for about three years, awesome. on and off. Right on. And I'm going to retire there. Oh, yeah? Nice. <laughs> well, now I'm not because everyone will know. But, yeah. <laughs> He's I not admit, going, I guys. admit I'm retired going. in Saskatchewan, Canada. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be the first expat. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. hey, this is going great, guys, because you've done it all, man. You, you, you're you playing music. You know, you're you, you're. You're partying, you're scoring chicks. No, I don't know. <laughs> no. I, I've been on your Facebook page, bro. The personal one that ain't only family you supposed to get on. Uh, so, so, and, uh, and not only are they playing March 22nd at the Red Top Barbecue in Collinsville, they're going to be back over here at Copper Fire. Oh, yeah. On, okay, nice. On the 14th of April. A couple times. That's the yeah. duo. They're going to play. 14th of April, that's one month from today. Huh? May 11th right. at the Grafton Oyster Bar. Nice. Uh, May 18th at uh, Holiday Shores Marina. Okay. That's you the boys are getting around. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. see. What else is on this side? I think that's it for now. That's, that's some pretty good action for the east side. Well, Root House. Yeah. That oh. counts, right? Yeah, yeah Root House. That's, here, that, that's our area. So Six I think, we, I think we have one more at the... Uh, the oyster bar and grafted. Yeah, okay. just don't have them all posted. I think it's November yeah. or something like that. But that'll oh. be like their country fest. And then... Uh, so. One I don't have posted that we've been doing every year is the uh, Shriner Fest in yeah, Troy, Illinois. That okay. shirt that's that shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We do that every from year. From Troy to Troy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> you should dress like Roman. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a big wooden horse. <laughs> our uh, our hometown uh, sports team is actually the Trojans. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I thought that was for condoms. They na- yeah. I was going <laughs> to say, they named a team after. Yeah. How come, how come your mask got a big the, condom? They got the helmet and everything. I think they just oh, got yeah, copied. Yeah. The helmet. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. The helmet. How, yeah. So, so how come your, your mascot is an average size condom? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so what, what remark I, was brought to you by King Tree Care. <laughs> Blame him. And no, Matt, it wasn't. And Matt Van Voorst. No. <laughs> hey, Matt what Van uh, Voorst of King Tree Care. Uh, what, what, uh, what is happening uh, this weekend? What do we got going on this weekend? Well, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, Big Ben. Oh, I am very aware. Not only do I know that, I know that St. Patrick was not born in Ireland, but born in Scotland and kidnapped by the Irish and taken there. And we've already slavery. started with the sea shanty here. This yeah. Time. 
Well, they're, they're, we're kicking it off Irish style. So you right know off something's bat. happening down in Morrison's this weekend. Oh, yeah. Matter of yeah, fact, they're imagine. shutting down the street. Well, that, that makes sense. On Sunday. That makes sense. They'll it's, shut down State Street. They'll have shuttles running around town. Well, St. Patrick's Day. We're, we're gonna, I, we're gonna, we're gonna dye the river green just like they do in Chicago, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's happening on Sunday. But uh, on Friday night, Trinity's Way open mic. Yeah, By yeah. Happy Mavis to Summit. see that back. Mm-hmm. That's the old Milton School in Alton, and uh, where Mavis is at. And uh, they do the cleanups around yeah. River Bend. They got one of those scheduled too, I believe. That's uh, this weekend too, isn't it? Um, I believe it might be. Yeah, uh, look, uh, yeah. I think it might be Saturday. Look yeah, at all the stuff, babe, and it's insane. I, it, I know. How well, well, do we ever know. get through it? There it is. Trinity Ways cleanup Saturday. is on Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Okay, I had it wrong. Uh, they're going to be up near the Walmart and Godfrey Highway sixty seven. Yeah, and, and Trinity's Way has adopted that little strip in front of Walmart there and cleans up all the people's trash that throw it out there so uh and thanks also, to all the volunteers there they also raise money for the uh, animals animals yeah. So, yeah the animal shelters feeding and taking care of the animals so nothing but good stuff coming out of trinity's way and on friday it'll be good music good times good people 5 to 8 p.m it's an early one mavis coffee house old milton school all right we'll go a little quicker now i'll fly through this oh don't Board move too line. fast i'll fall off okay hold on Borderline, 7.30, Fast Eddie's and Alton, Everhart and Light at the yep. PFW at 7 o'clock. The Grand Band out of Bakers and Hale uh, in Godfrey from 7 to 11. The Subs, which is BC Homegrown Acoustic. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. 7 to 10 at Locks Brick House in Bethalto. Still thinking about them almost selling out that theater down there in Belleville. For, for an original show. Yeah, it's amazing. That's, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Left Hand Cowboy, you talked to him recently. Yeah. Yep. 7 to 10 at the... Uh, We're going to get them in here. Cool. As I ta- And Tracy Inman, he he hits me up. and we, he, He's always got stuff going on. Oh, we got to say what moose. That's oh, a moose and Woodrow. No, it's okay. Yeah, Left Hand Cowboy. Yep. Yeah, Left Hand Cowboy. Yeah, Tracy Inman's got a band together to go with those original songs. Nice. And they're doing the uh, Tri-County Rod and Gun Club <laughs> in Brighton on Friday night. First gig ever. You can say you were there. <laughs> right? You can see the, the the Tracy Chapman band. When he played on Facebook. Debut. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Friday night, also Friday night, we got Logan Chapman at George's local pub and uh, grill up in Jerseyville. Hick Town's doing it at Deutz Village Inn. I imagine they're back on Saturday. It's usually a weekend yep. gig. That's Dave Mendoza's band. He's there tonight. Yeah, he's playing down there tonight. Right. He's, he's staying the whole time. And then we got uh, Money Shot. Patrick's in Granite City. Mm-hmm. Andrew Dahl duo at uh, Big Daddy's in Edwardsville from 6 to 9. Matt Walter Scheid 6 to 9 at the 1818 Chop House in Edwardsville. Lanny and Julie 7 to 10 at the Moose in Edwardsville. And Blake Bolts 7 to 11 at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. Hey, look. Merge 5. Yeah. Talk to Johnny. Yeah. Open mic. Where? Red Top Barbecue in Collinsville on yeah. Friday night. Yeah. If you see one show this Friday night, make it merge fine. <laughs> or or go to the Dog Prairie in O'Fallon, Missouri, and check out go. Joint Twenty Two. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, man, so there you go. Toxic Johnny March 5 at the Red mm-hmm. Top uh, Friday night. And then, of course, the Experience Live Music Row happening down in Belleville. Go uh, on, go on. I want you to get All right, then we got John Jarrett at H's Bar in Belleville and <laughs> Fat Kitty with a PH. Man, right. with a PH. Fat Kitty. Oh, I've seen a few Fat Kitties. Uh, that is it. <laughs> Martin's Lanes and Root House. So you can go up and bowl and check out the Fat Kitty. Sorry. That's a Fat Kitty. Is that mainly fur or fat? I don't know, but I got ahead of myself. So the party's on Saturday for St. Patrick's Day, which is Sunday. Okay. Right? Okay. And, uh... You know, they're going to have the downtown Alton pub crawl with a free shuttle. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to clarify that. The, 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 the Friday was a day early on shutting down the street down there. So that's going to be Saturday. Right. So Saturday. But you know what? Let's, before, before we jump into Saturday real quick, let's just say how much stuff was going on in our area on Friday. Right. I mean, that's that's a lot of stuff. And we, we're about to do A lot of Saturday, bands. So it's going to be insane. All right. Let's do it. We got Mila going to kick it off down there at Morrison's at noon. Okay. Mila Duffy. And then I'm trying to figure out how to say that. Ophelian. Ophelian Irish dancers, 415. And then the Wild Geese, 6 to 10. Close off State Street from 11 to 7. 
So don't take that way home on Saturday. <laughs> it would not Until work in your Saturday. favor. Right. <laughs> also going on uh, Saturday, Don't Get Dead. Cool. With Dirty King. And I'm loose. I'm loose. <laughs> I'm, I'm loose. I I'm like loose. it. I'm, I'm loose. I'm yeah. loose either way. They're, they're cool. I'm you got to come up with creative names these days. Well, you know, been a lot of people are just adding numbers like 22 to their name. <laughs> right. It <laughs> really <laughs> helps differentiate them. <laughs> but that's a 7 o'clock start going until almost midnight at the conservatory in Alton. With, uh, don't get dead. Nice. Networks Cafe out at the uh, Ropers Regal Beagle and Godfrey from 7 to 11. Naked Soul 2 to 6 and Borderline 7.30 at Fast Eddie's. Bad Tattoo. <laughs> All right. right. With two Ds. <laughs> right. right. Uh, They'll be out of third shoe. Uh, and all on Saturday. When I first looked down at that, I saw, thought it said Brad Tattoo, and I thought I was going to be a tattooed guy. But when you read it and I heard you say Bad Tattoo, that is way funnier. <laughs> bad Tattoo. Uh... So yeah. we also got Doppelganger on Saturday. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Doppelganger, 7 to 10 p.m. at Baker's in Hale. Uh, I think you said Porch Cafe. Right? I, did, I did. That's yeah. why I'm looking back here. I'm like, that's okay. Did I say them on Friday? I, you know that. I, I, I don't know. see them on Friday, so I, I must I must have been getting ahead of myself. Well, that, so there's another, yeah, I was going to say there's, there's the right three up from us or whatever. You've got, you've got, you got them at uh, Porch oh, okay. Cafe, I 7 just, to 11. Yeah. You just had it twice. No big okay. deal. Okay. Uh, so let's move moving on. We got John Jarrett, 2 to 5 p.m. 4 playing 9 p.m. That's at the Pump House in Wood River. Blake Gardner and the Farmer, 7 to 11. Sparky's in South Roxana. Isaiah Christian, 6 to 9 at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville. The Bearded Bandits, Mr. Nate Sigmeyer, 3 to 7 nice. at uh, Grafton Winery Brujas. Brujas. Sarah Schumacher. Sarah Shoemake, 2 to 6 at Grafton Pub. Schumacher. Night number two for Hickdown down at Deutz in Pontoon Beach and the uh, Pete Kreischock duo, 7 to 10 at uh, Manhattan's Coffee and Social House in Granite, Skylark Brothers, 7 o'clock at the Corner Tavern uh, in Edwardsville. If you come into town there, Lane and Julie, a little further down the road at Big Daddy's from 6 to 9, Josh Witt around the corner. There's a spilly. Nice. 5 to 8 at the uh, Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville, the Trophy Mules. Another former guest, 7 to uh, 10 at the uh, Global Brew. In Edwardsville, more guests, Pigpen, Psychedelic Symphony, and Everheart and Light, 7 to 10 at the Moose in Edwardsville on Saturday. Carrie Lee, 7 to 10 at Lyle's Tavern in Maryville. And Pigpen, you must know what an adult Easter egg hunt is. I can't You're say. You're an adult. I, I know what it is, but I would have to word it properly to say it and <laughs> talk about it on the radio. Well, they get the Cheers band playing it. Oh, this is a different one than I go to. Does that tie in? It might. It might. I don't know. It's yeah. like Norm is in that band, right? You know, it's a, a little known fact that most of these Easter eggs would have, uh, you know, adult gifts in them. Anyways, it's an adult Easter egg. Hunt. Little blueberry. With the Cheers Band, 6 to 10 at Bella Pisa Winery in Maryville on Saturday. All uh, right. A race St. Louis at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon from 7 to 11. Gusto uh, up at McDill's in Collinsville. <laughs> down McDill's. at McDill's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah. 9 p.m. Uh, for that start. Whiskey River up at Bunkhouse in Bunker Hill. 8 o'clock for the Whiskey River. Look. Backyard Blues Band. They've been hey, on the show. 6 hey, to 10. There you go. Special Ed. Special Ed. The former peanut man there. Yeah. Red Tavern in Bunker Hill. All fired up at the uh, Rustic and Warden at 7 o'clock. And uh, experience live music row with uh, multiple acts. I mean, way more multiple than and normal. A lot because of stuff. Because of the yeah. St. Patrick's Day party. And I've seen a picture of the crowd from a St. Patrick's Day party down there in Belleville on uh, the main drag there. And I, it looked like Wordy Girl. Nice. That's all I'm going to say. That's a lot of people. Yeah, and so maybe that's how you sell out the Lincoln, right? Yeah, you're playing Bell Bell because people show up. <laughs> hint, hint, right? Uh, yeah, show I'm, up, I'm liking it, man. I like to play. No, but that's cool. That is a big list of people playing there. Scott Marlin down there. Yep, at Friday South in Bell Bell on Saturday. Flip side up in uh, Kane at the Legion, Outlaw Opry up at uh, Wild Pickets from six to ten. Lickety Split, C. Joe's, <laughs> and Con Olive, you love that name. I, I, I do. I like Lickety Splits is a good band name, a good name for a strip club. I mean, it's, it's, it, you, <laughs> you can call it all. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 I'm, just, I'm trying to think of what the sign would look like. That would be neon, of course. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for Shotgun sure. Shotgun Creek, 8 o'clock at Tutopolis Sports Banquet Fundraiser. <laughs> right? uh, Grand mm. Band at uh, Johnny's Hideout in High Ridge, nice. Missouri. And uh, Ruby Lee all the hey, way up yeah. in Iowa. Nice. The uh, Adler Theater in Davenport. Good for Ruby? Uh, you know, we still got to go over Sunday, Big Ben. What? Jeez, almighty. I'm just saying, there's I, a lot I'm happening. so tired. I, I just like, I can't take reading anymore. <laughs> They'll have uh, Luke hard. Hayes down at the uh, Lodge at Lovejoy <laughs> on Sunday from 2 to 5. Naked Soul and Sean Trost Band at uh, Fast Eddie's. We mentioned the cleanup. Nice. Uh, out of Walmart, Fraternity's Way, 11 to 1. Jay Hollinger and Anthony Nanny out of Baker's and Hale. In uh, Godfrey from 3 to 6. See how some of these bars are doing extra stuff this weekend, right? No, it, it's St. Patrick's Day, man. Right I Don Oi. Braxton Kilmer, 2 o'clock at the Pump House. Scott and Carl at uh, Grafton Winery Brew House. P Tuck, 2 to 6 at Grafton <laughs> Pub. Not sure, but that's how I'm going to say it. Could it be P Tuck? P Tuck. Could be P Tuck. Scott Marlowe. Just Marlin. the sound. Okay. That's like some of those uh, tribes. They talk in the clicks. Eeyore. Yeah. Really? Uh, Mr. Durka Durka. <laughs> you got it. Scott Marlin, he's playing. 47 yeah, yeah, at uh, yeah. Big Dash. Mellow D's at the Stagger Inn, a 9 o'clock start. They're not even doing open mic, I don't think. Okay. That's Mellow a, D's a Sunday with the Mellow D's at 1 yeah. and 9 p.m. Okay. And more Irish dancers. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's 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 go back to that stagger in. Last time we had Butch on, he said they're gonna start they're gonna start them earlier. Okay. So well, maybe they're starting it. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Maybe there's. It was six to ten listed normally. So. Right. So they might have moved it to five to nine, it. and yeah. now the melodies are taking over at nine. I don't Sounds know. like a party at the same. Yeah, either, either way, way yeah. sound like a party to me. Right on. Get there. They got food and everything. So if you show up and the open mic's not going on, I have a chow down. All right. Right. Whiskey Revival, 2 to 6, and uh, more Academy of Irish Dance. That's the O'Fallon. <laughs> 6.30 at the Cabin at Judy Creek. I was trying to be Irish, but that Ooh. was way off. O'Fallon. Mm-hmm. Scott and Michelle at the uh, Prairie Inn and Dorsey on Sunday. Scott, or Steve Kern yeah. at Tucker's Pub in Eldred. Hank Greenwald, 1 to 4 at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield. Dazed and Confused, doing uh, Copper Fire on Sunday yes. at Belleville. Salmon Creek, down there as well. More, uh, you know, whoever's left over from the Saturday party down there. <laughs> they're going to start at noon, so there will be a few people. Yeah, yeah. Leftovers. And they're playing the coffee house, 4322. Like yeah, that is for the, that's for the early risers and the up-all-nighters. Right, so they got it covered. Vintage Groove at the Rustic on Sunday, and Warden and Grand Band uh, in New Minden. Wow. The Blue Room. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot. And uh, that list was brought to you by King Tree Care. Scott, oh, wait. <laughs> That's Joints 22's uh, sponsor, Scott King. King Tree Care. Our sponsor Follow is him on Facebook. Right. And follow him personally. Just find him and follow him around. Creep him out, man. <laughs> King Contracting STL. They give away free stuff. says right there. <laughs> Free stuff, <laughs> right? Free estimates, bro. That's free. Hey, man, free. Can I get you know? I, I know I live eight hours away, but it says free estimate. I'm not gonna hire you, but I want that free estimate, bro. <laughs> hey, you gotta love sponsors. <laughs> I they do. kept us on the air almost eight years now. Well, we'll be eight years in May, Pig. That's awesome. Yeah, there's no way that anybody would let us on I the know. air without. <laughs> if there wasn't a sponsor, I'd be like, "What are you kidding me? This isn't even a radio show." And that's uh, how for Music Company and Matt Van Boris and the uh, CS Insurance and. What's your other sponsor? We got to get them all in. High sugar. sugar high. Sugar high. Sugar high. Yep, yep. Um, How do you I'm spell that? S U G A H Y. Okay, yeah, because if you're searching for that, you want to make it H Y. How high? Sugar, sugar high. high. <laughs> <laughs> we are visiting with Joints 22. We're playing. Uh, Sir, thanks for having us. At the Red Top thanks Barbecue so on March 22nd. You need to get tickets either from them. Do you think they got any at the barbecue shop? Uh, they, there will be some at the door. And, uh, I don't know if they have them so, already there, but... All right, so 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 far you guys have been killing it, man. You've got like five gold stars. You know, you got three thumbs up. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what our rating system is, but you're doing great. Thank you. 
So now what you got, oh, you live way the hell out there, though, don't you? I was going to say, just physically go up and take them yeah. some tickets. I'd be like, yeah. sell these tickets, yeah. man. I'm pretty sure they do. Because and then they, also, yeah. wherever Jimmy, uh, Jimmy has like a uh, place Swing. to eat. Yeah, yeah. Swing City. So there's tickets yeah. there, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You say That's that the Jimmy G way. Yeah. That is the Jimmy G way. They're up there. Up there. Go, go stop at Swing City, see if they're up there. If not, yeah. buy, buy whatever. Buy them at the door, text Ask us. us. Yeah. Demand <laughs> Jimmy G. Jimmy G. <laughs> He's in a no. lesson right now. No, we no, demand it. No, I, I need to talk to Jimmy G right now. No. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, we were talking a little original music uh, on the horizon. You guys just getting underway, uh, writing some tunes, and uh, yes, sir. Is that going to be a full band thing? Yeah. Right. All of them. So. You guys are all over the place as far as the coverage you do. I mean, that's oh, what yeah. I wrote down. You got country, you got Skinner, you got Sublime, yeah. you got Stuck in the Middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We love that one. Yeah, that was a good one. <sighs> uh, you could sit in with a pig pen. They do that Tom Petty song you guys do. <laughs> I love Last Tom. Last Dance of Mary Jane. I or Mary Jane's Last Dance, yeah. whatever it is. I don't know, but I like Tom <laughs> Petty. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's great. Yeah. My dad does love him. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, that, the Wildflowers, man. What a, they're just a great band. Mm-hmm. I, I saw them just a few years ago. I don't know how old they are now, but they're old, right? And they dress to the T still. They like, it's 100 degrees out and they're wearing like big, you know, mm-hmm. long sleeve <laughs> coats on top of their long sleeve shirts and they look great. But dress in the park. But Mike Campbell, the guitar player, goes out. He falls out. Like, you know, he's old and it's 100 degrees and, and he goes out and maybe five minutes off the stage came back and did another 45 minutes wow, wow. and I, I i'm like that's that is impressive guy. yeah that's awesome i mean yeah i mean as a, you know you go out from heat exhaustion of course they probably you know yeah you know we're like here's some vitamin b or whatever i don't know what they do backstage maybe an iv or something yeah yeah a quick cocktail we'll call it <laughs> <laughs> you know. so what i was getting to is have you figured out where your originals fall into this wide array of stuff um, I would rock. call them rock, yeah. Rock, yeah, rock songs. Maybe like, I don't know what <laughs> genre of rock, but they're there. They're, the, they're scratching the surface somewhere. Here's the thing. Don't don't think yourself in by calling something. Just call right. it music and let yeah. other people mm-hmm. label it, man. Because if you have this many influences that you're playing, all of them will creep into what you do, oh, yeah. and that's the best. 100%. You know? Use it, use it all. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You use it. So, yeah. I'd go with three chords and the truth. <laughs> it's never failed. It never has. Works for bluegrass, works for country, uh, yeah. works for rock. Mm-hmm. Works for Jimi Hendrix, man. Yeah, works for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All Except right. Rush. They do like 10 chords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and only play in 7 12 timing. <laughs> and you you have to wear black jeans to their shows. If you wear blue jeans, they are not, not playing it right. <laughs> Getty Lee himself will tell you, what are you doing in blue jeans? We wear black <laughs> jeans at my concert. <laughs> Miles Davis might have 12 different chords at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Miles Davis way. Uh, He's yes. from here. He was born here. Really? Man, yeah. we got he moved right away, him. though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Having trouble with the neighbors. I now, no, you, 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 see, we're, we're, we're going to hip you. We're going to spend just a few minutes hipping you to where you are. So, like, literally right over the, the hill, there's a, a statue of Miles Davis because he was born right here in this town. Um, now we're going to give you the history of rock. Now the history of <laughs> rock and roll comes in. The so, history you might not have heard yet. So, so right down the road here, right, you go down here, make a left, and, and you will end up in, in 15 or 20 minutes in, in the East St. Louis, Brooklyn area. Yeah, I know you've heard East St. Louis. Oh, yeah. So okay. the, this is... This here's is, what you may not know about East St. Louis. Do you want to do it? You, sure. So, okay. <laughs> you, you already, first, first of all, let's get out of the way what you already know. Right across the river in St. Louis, you got Chuck Berry. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows Chuck Berry. Mm-hmm. And, and Chuck Berry, along with Johnny Johnson, who was actually from Illinois, is where rock and roll sort of spawned from. Because mm. Johnny Johnson's right, he wrote Johnny Be Good on the piano. Mm-hmm. And Chuck took it and put it on an amplified guitar with distortion. And, so, and we have rock and roll, boys. Right. Now, where did distortion come from, though? Well, that's the other side of it. Ike Turner is where distortion came from. And he's, he's uh, St. Louis. He, he's St. Louis right here. So you got Johnny Johnson and Ike Turner from like 20 minutes from here. And, and Chuck Berry, 20 minutes over the bridge. Now, when you think rock, who's more of a rocker? Chuck or Elvis? Who can shred the guitar? And, Chuck Berry. Chuck. And, right. and who's more of a, of a country leaning towards 
rock. Yeah, you know, yeah. who 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 wrote their songs and who didn't? Now, mm-hmm. and I'm not I'm not even saying this about right. Elvis. Look, you could you could go back to any of those guys. Right. I mean, Muddy Water was in on it, man. That dude invented electricity. A lot of people don't know it. Yeah, we only played acoustic <laughs> guitars before him. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, he invented electricity. <laughs> no, no, but and, and but, all the blues guys came through St. Louis. Nice. All of them. Mm-hmm. Well, they're going from New Orleans all the way up to Chicago. And the thing about St. Louis is, and the blues guys will tell the story about how they actually got paid here. You get a, get so a they plate probably of chicken, you get, a, you get free here. beer, and, and right. something, something. And where, when, when they stop in Memphis, they just get to play. Right. That's mm-hmm. it, boys. You get to play. And, yeah. and, and Big George Brock Sr., whose uh, son... One of like fifty sons, right? <laughs> yeah, it's more than that. It's closer to a hundred. He's got like three set, three or four sets of triplets. 40, exactly. I mean, it's, it's a way up there. A lot of stuff. Anyway. His dad was a bluesman. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what do you expect? Right. It's part of being a bluesman. He's been on the show talking about you know his clubs, right, and all these blues guys that uh, come through here, right? And we right. talked about Johnny, right? We know where rock came from, the blues, right? So does that not sound like the home of rock and roll? Just yeah. saying. Uh, rock and roll was not did not spawn from the South from from Sun Studios, except for that is where the distortion came from. Because yeah. Ike Turner and his band were on their way to Sun Studios. They were heading right down fifty five from St. Louis to Memphis to record. They were in a station wagon and the guitar amp fell out and they didn't have money for a new guitar amp and they're going to record. So they took paper and crumpled it up and put it in the back of the amp to hold the speaker in place. Wow. And that's where distortion was born. <laughs> that's crazy. And so, so like, there's a lot of people that, that yeah, give. We didn't even mention Bonnie Bramlett. Yeah, Bonnie Bramlett, was right in on the beginning of that. Probably, probably on more rock and roll albums. Probably it influenced or, or recorded or mm-hmm. has her voice on more rock and roll albums than anybody else. That's awesome. Except maybe the Flo and Eddie. Those dudes were on like hundreds, also. Her so. friends, as she mentioned in our interview, you know them all, and a lot of them have passed away. So all the legends, she knew them, including, and we that's why we put her at the top, she actually hung out with the Beatles. That's cool. And George Harrison. So, so I just read this a while back yeah. where, where uh, Bram, uh, what's her husband again? Or at the time? Uh, uh, Delaney. Delaney. Delaney, uh, Bonnie and Delaney. They, that was their band. It was just, a, you know, and, and they played over in London. And three of the four Beatles bought tickets to walk in to watch the yeah. show. And couldn't <laughs> more excited about it. Wow. She... Uh, I seen a uh, live performance with Eric Clapton. He introduced her as his friends. It's, it's like his, I think his best friend. He's called her, <laughs> yeah. and she introduced him to J.J. Kale, who wrote "After Midnight." They right. call me right. the breeze. All these great songs. <coughs> so, she so you know, when she got out to California. All those guys like Eric Clapton wanted to talk about what the blues where she grew up. Mm-hmm. Well, and 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 she is at the age fifteen, she was the only Caucasian white get Ike get like Ike always had the backup singers, and she was the only white one ever at the age fifteen. And they had to get a special paper signed so they so that they could take a white girl across state lines at wow. that time. And they said they got into more than one pulling guns on people because right. over it, you know. So it ended up not lasting long. But at 15, Ike Turner was like, "Oh, this girl is the bomb." Right. She's still illegal. alive. Still, she lives in Granite City. Yeah, it's ten minutes right. down the road. Still to this day. Yeah. Favorite awesome. guest of all time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she uh, knows she, the Beatles. So, so she, yeah, so, 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 so not <laughs> only, she, not only she been on. Yeah. She, she's, she's not only on all these old Eric Clapton albums and all that. All you know, all this, but like in the '80s, she's on Bon Jovi albums as a backup singer, yeah. things like oh, that. Really. But, but this was what really blew me away sitting in that room right behind you yeah. guys is we're talking and I don't even know if it was on air or off air but we're just chatting about our career he never knows if it's on air or off air because I, I just talk <laughs> I don't pay attention to what's happening he really does really. I, I, yeah, I, I, but anyway uh, we're talking about our career and uh, she's like well you know like a lot of this, the work that I did people would never even know it because what would happen is they got a songwriter and they got a star, and the, the producers would go, okay, I got the song, and I got the singer. They'd bring him in the studio, and it's not working out. They call Bonnie. Bonnie comes in, they're like, Bonnie, how would you sing this? She lays a scratch track, and they tell the singer, learn it that way. Yeah. And so she's influenced, so, she's influ- yeah. she basically wrote the melody lines for all these, you know, or, you know, came up with a way to put it across on all these albums that she not even really mentioned on. She right. got paid a flat fee, a consultant fee to do that sort of, sort of thing. Wow. You won't see her in the movie, but she was on the Festival Express <laughs> train <laughs> with 
<laughs> Janis Joplin and Jerry Garcia. Oh, wow. I, I don't know if you uh, if you ever get a chance to check out the documentary Festival Express. This this this, yeah. uh, this they they pulled the footage uh, because Delaney and Bonnie weren't getting along real well, and she didn't want that shown. They didn't, you know? yeah, they didn't want their personal stuff coming off. But there's this great uh, a documentary about this festival, and what it was was this guy said, "All right, we're going to do a festival." It's going to be a train going across Canada, and they he, he got a train for all the bands. So all the bands that were playing the festival rode this train together, and one of the train cars had equipment set up in it where they could jam together, mm-hmm. all their food. So they lived together on this train, and, and boy, you, you got to watch the documentary. Yeah, definitely. It's, it, What's it, it called again? It's, it's, uh, festival Express is all I know that, like, I can't yeah. remember what the documentary itself is called, it's, but if you look up called. Festival Express, yeah, it's what's going to come up. Right. Yeah. But yeah, or you can check just out. check out the video we did with her and listen to her yeah. tell all these stories yeah. right. herself. But but to see that, that I, I meant that, to, to to see what that actual yeah, yeah. festival's about. You got the Grateful Dead, the band. You got all you know all these like Jan, like Janis Joplin and right, that, cool. you know, and they would all just get together and jam. You know, it, it you Heck know. Yeah. I mean, what, what's more fun than... That's the way to do it. You're on a train. Nobody's got to drive. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right? Just hang out and jam. Yeah. Uh, so uh, don't and, forget, and, March 22nd, Red Top Barbecue, uh, Joint 22. Tickets are 8 or 10 bucks. The show's at 8 <laughs> <laughs> so, Brought to you like by that. King Tree Care. And... Uh, Sugar high, high something. Sugar high. high. Sugar high. That's all I can remember. Sugar high. It's all there, man. Sugar it's high all, with an H. It's all coming together. Yes, sir. All right. Well, guys, uh, Abel. Yes, sir. Aiden. Kane. It's great to meet I you guys. Mean, Thanks for having us. Very nice to meet you and, and, yeah. and, and, and ask for these punks that couldn't come. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you... Yeah, well, Usually we'll be hearing we, from them guys. Oh yeah. Well, look, <laughs> we there, we dudes. have a rule. Whenever guys don't show up, we get to talk as much max as we want <laughs> yeah. because they're not here to defend themselves. Yeah. So you, you guys know. hear that? Yeah, you hear yeah. it. Now you're listening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cousin Shane. So so this this I, I I want to I want you to know that guys, this is a warning that whenever we have joints twenty two back on, if you don't show up, it is glo- I'm I'm gonna talk <laughs> some smack, man. I ain't you know I'm just telling you I'm gonna dig deep too. No. <laughs> All right. Hey, seriously, thanks guys for coming down. Yeah. Everybody, get out see joints. 22 they can check out what facebook facebook at joints 22 facebook instagram instagram joints 22 underscore official there TikTok. you go tiktok tiktok at joints 22 yep yeah there you go everybody yeah. check out joints 22 thanks again to the brothers uh abel and aiden for coming down everybody uh thanks uh for listening get out there to help and music if you need any instruments if you need some insurance call matt van Voris. they are the sponsors of this show for eight years running thanks to them And everybody, make sure you get out and support local music and art.